What's up everyone? In this video, we're going to be talking about good old Palantir, what's going on with their earnings, and the best way to play this one. Stick with me today, guys. Palantir stock is down almost 12%. It's been a rough morning. Uh, the stock yesterday was trading for around $14, and we're all the way down to like $12 today. So it's not looking the best. So uh, Palantir reported earnings in pre-market today, and the market was not a fan of them, to say the least. Now, their earnings weren't terrible, though. Like, their earnings were actually pretty decent. So they actually topped expectations on their revenue expectations, but they missed on their earnings. So we can see uh, on the CNBC article right here, their revenue came in at $433 million for the quarter, and they were only expected to bring in around $418 million in revenue. So... They did good with their revenue expectations, but their earnings per share missed, which, you know, it sucks, but it's not the end of the world. Um, overall, Palantir has been growing a lot over the years in terms of valuation and, of course, revenue and, and things like that. Uh, we could see uh, Palantir's earnings per year um, for like the past couple of years now. We could see in 2018, they had an annual revenue of $595 million. 2019, that boosted all the way up to $743 million. 2020, it went to over a billion dollars. And in 2021, it rose all the way to $1.5 billion. So clearly, Palantir is growing their revenue at a respectable pace. But the problem is that if we go back to the CNBC article, you know, if we go all the way to the bottom paragraph, Palantir is one of those companies that historically has worked with the government a lot. And that's a good and bad thing. Uh, we can see this last paragraph right here, though, highlights that Palantir expanded its commercial business throughout 2021, which is good. It said revenue was up 34% year over year to $645 million. Awesome. Their U.S. commercial revenue alone soared to 102% with the customer count jumping 4.7 times. So that's awesome, right? In 2021, their government revenue gained 47% to $897 million. So if we go to Palantir's actual earnings presentation, we could see in the fourth quarter, while overall the revenue is growing a lot, we could see that their total revenue growth went to 34% in the fourth quarter, but their government revenue growth was only at 26%. So keep in mind, Palantir is one of those companies that historically has worked with the government a lot, and that's a good and bad thing, but the thing is it's just slowing down a decent amount, or it slowed down over a decent amount over the past quarter. So that's just, it's a little bit worrying, but it's not the end of the world by any means. However, their commercial revenue growth is soaring. You know, it was up 47% over the past quarter. So that's awesome. And by the way, um, as you guys can see on the presentation right here, uh, these percentages are year over year growth. So keep that in mind. Um, so Overall, um, Palantir, they're not doing bad. They are growing, but keep in mind that they do have a pretty hefty valuation. We could see over the past year, uh, their revenue is around $1.5 billion, and they have around a $25 billion valuation. So while they are growing, they have a lot of work to do in order to justify their valuation. So overall, they're growing. Palantir's a long-term play for me. Um, I like other stocks more like DraftKings and things like that, but that, that's a conversation for another video. But I do own Palantir for the long term, uh, and Palantir has been getting beaten down in a terrible, terrible way over the past couple months. Um, they were trading at a pretty high valuation a couple months ago, like a lot of other growth stocks were. So whether you're looking at Palantir, DraftKings, Zoom, AI, any growth stock is has been down a lot over the past couple months. Uh, rising rates do not help the valuations of growth stocks at all, especially in the short term. But if we focus more on Palantir right now, we can see on a technical basis, honestly, it's looking rough, right? Like over the past couple months, it has just been on like a nonstop downtrend but it does have a really strong support level right around um, $12 to $11.75. It bounced off of this level uh, twice over like the past, I guess you could say the past month or so, uh, once on January 24th and then again on January 28th. And it bounced off of that level in a pretty strong way. And we could see like even, you know, this morning it, it bounced off of $12 again. So 
there are clearly buyers coming in around that $12 level. And an interesting point to know is that in the um, in the earnings on May, yeah, in May of 2021, uh, initially Palantir just tanked down on their earnings report, but it was actually the start of a pretty nice size uptrend. Like if we zoom in right here on like May 11th, 2021, uh, the stock was all the way at like $17 and it actually ended up rising to 27. So, you know, a couple times when uh, Palantir reported earnings in the past, it's been good for it. Um, other times, like on the um, the earnings report on November 9th, that was pretty rough. So keep in mind, like it's at a major support level right now. It's not bad, but there is also a lot of resistance overhead. If we look more at some of these resistance levels, there's a really strong level right around $14.50. We can see a bounce off of that level one, two, three times over the past month. So clearly there's a lot of sellers coming in around $14.50. There's also another resistance level right around $15.50. And then another major one around 18, but we're a little bit far away from 18. So we probably don't have to worry about that one for a little bit. But either way, it's, it's not looking the best right now. And of course, there's always gonna be people saying, all right, now's the time to short Palantir. Here's, now's the time to buy it. Now's the time to buy puts, calls, whatever. The best thing to do with Palantir, in my opinion, only if you wouldn't mind holding shares of this company, is to sell put options. I'm going to say that again. If you wouldn't mind holding shares of this company, instead of gambling by buying short-term call options or buying short-term put options, strongly look into selling to open put options that expire in maybe 30 days or something like that. Basically, let's say you tell yourself, all right, I would like to buy Palantir at any price under $13. The stock right now is at $12.45. What you can do is go to like the March 18th expiration. You can go to like the 13 strike put and you can sell that 13 strike put and you can get paid $128 cash today. Basically, um, you'll have a margin requirement of around $1,300 if it's cash secured, and you'll get paid around $128 or $129 cash today to buy 100 shares of Palantir at $13 each, only if it's below $13 on March 18th of 2022. So really look into the short put option strategy. I'll link a video in the description down below or actually, I'll link the video in the comments down below if you want to learn more about the short put option strategy. It's pretty awesome. But all in all, Palantir has been uh, pretty rough lately. It's a long-term play for me. I like it. Clearly, they're growing a lot um, over the years. It's just um, the market's been rough right now, you know? So market's been rough. Um, the earnings weren't enough to really wow investors to the point where, you know, and buyers are flocking in like their earnings were decent but they just weren't good enough and that's what happens sometimes in the market like even um yesterday we had nvidia report earnings their numbers were pretty good but just not good enough and nvidia stock is down seven percent today and it was down even more a couple hours ago so that's just the market sometimes um down below in the comments i will attach a video about short puts which i think is the best way to play palantir right now if you wouldn't mind holding them for the long term and then in the like all the way at the bottom of the, of the description i'm going to attach the palantir earnings report and their earnings presentation so if you want to take a deeper look at it the links will be in the description all the way at the bottom for you to uh, look at uh, palantir posted a, a pretty nice presentation about their business and how things have been going uh, recently so definitely consider taking a look at that but just back to the highlights really quickly you know overall they're growing they're growing at a pre pretty good amount it's just not good enough to really wow investors at this point in time. Um, last thing I wanna say is, if you are looking to analyze any company, like I analyzed Palantir today, definitely check out that first link in the description down below. Basically, you can type in any stock ticker, just like I typed in Palantir today, and instantly get access to the most important data points that are driving the stock up or down. You can see their most important financial data points, um, and this basically gives you um, the best way to analyze a stock for the long term, in my opinion. Uh, it's cheaper than our competitors, and it's a pretty awesome tool. We're adding so many features to it that the price will definitely be rising. I use this tool every single day, and in my opinion, you can't beat it. It's very simple to use. You type in any stock ticker, like if we do Apple right now, and within seconds, we'll see the most important data to look at 
while analyzing you know the health of any company so definitely check it out it's gonna be that first link in the description down below prices will definitely be rising besides that let me know what you guys think about good old Palantir in the comments down below it's been a wild ride for it but again thank you guys so much for watching